If you take the creeps fast, this wave won't make it until you killed all this. But if you take it slow, this wave will make it all the way. So here you take it as slow as possible. So you wait. You see one tower shot, two, take. One tower shot, two, take. And this way, this wave will be here. One tower shot, two, take. One tower shot, two, take. 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 You take it as late as possible, and that way, the neutral wave doesn't stack in the middle. It stacks on your side. You see what I mean? Now the neutral crash is on your side of the lane instead of in the middle. And that way you can build a wave yourself. If you take it fast, if I took this fast, like the second I could take it, I took it, this would have crashed in the middle and it would have been harder for me to not only last it, but to build a wave of my own. So you always want to take the creeps as late as possible when you're looking for this scenario. And people usually do this, you know, when you're laning, this is very common. This is something you see from a lot of players. So this is not like out of the box stuff to last it as late as possible in the lane. But I think uh, this tower thing is something that people often don't do. Which is, I mean, it's the same theory as here. You just want to take it as late as possible to build as many creeps as possible. So you have this slow push here. Now, now I would take it fast myself because the crash is a little bit awkward. So I'll take this fast. The reason why you want to do this is to manipulate the neutral crash. Because if you take it uh, in the middle row, like how you're normally doing it, then you lower your chances of manipulating the neutral crash. It's, this is not 100% accurate. Sometimes it's not possible. But in um, some scenarios, this will manipulate the neutral crash, doing it uh, my way. Make it so instead of uh, both minion waves meeting in the middle of the lane, they meet more on your side. So it's first... Uh, like the first thing that happens is it manipulates the neutral crash the th second thing that happens it uh, allows you to to make bigger slow push uh, it could also be if you're behind uh, allows you to farm more safely doesn't allow enemy to farm safely i guess it goes both ways because of it being on your side more uh, if you're behind it's easier to farm when in a, in a scenario maybe uh, you wouldn't be able to and if you're ahead, it wouldn't allow the enemy to farm because they're too far up on your side and you can go on them. Why I do it, the big goal of doing it is so that I can stack more waves and uh, therefore give, how would you say, more opportunities in the game. Because I think if you're just perma crashing like one wave at a time, nothing is going to happen. But if you stack slow pushes, you will open yourself up to getting, let's say, a really good base because they have to farm a lot of creeps under the tower and then push the next wave. And by that time, you will be back to lane. So... Yeah, the main goal is the big slow push. The big slow push can give you a couple of things. It allows you to make bigger slow push, allows you to more, uh, farm more safely. It doesn't allow enemy to farm as safely. And what you can do with this is good recall, dive opportunity, dragon timing, herald move, mid roam, take camps. Yeah, it's a lot of things you can do, I think. Uh, with a big slow push in comparison to a one wave at a time crash, 